Hello Libra, Summon Rising and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. All right, we have soulmate, and then we also have reconciliation. At the bottom of the deck, we do have release your ex. With release your ex coming out here for you, this could definitely insinuate that there could have been like a breakup or a separation that may have happened here uh, between you and whoever it is that you currently find yourself connecting with. Um, as of recently, this ending could have occurred here between you and this person. If that is the case, um, I do see the two of you getting back together. I do see that happening. All right. Let's focus on you first, Libra, and then we'll jump over to your person. Still keep in mind, you might find yourself resonating more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Libra currently view this relationship? <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the tower. We also have the Hierophant. And then we also have the Empress. Okay. For some of you, you could be married to this person. You could currently be going through um, a divorce process. Anyways, how does this person currently view this relationship? Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. Uh, like I said, for some of you, you could be married to this person. For some of you, you may even share a child and or children with this person. Um, or this could just represent that there's a relationship uh, that's coming to an end here between you and this person. But... That's not what they want. That's one thing that I am kind of getting from this person. That's not what they want. That's not what they want. See, their whole thing is, you know, let's just try to fix things. Let's just try to move past, you know, everything that we're currently facing within our relationship. You know, this is somebody who's not even close to wanting you know as far as wanting to basically give up on this relationship is concerned they're not even close to wanting to give up so you want things to basically come to an end here between you and this person they want to keep fighting and keep trying to make this relationship work so clearly right off the bat we have two people here who are not even on the same page how does uh libra feel We got the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups, we also have the World. I don't feel like this is your overall energy. I feel like this is the King of Swords overall energy. They're trying to work things out with you, Libra. They're trying here, but you're just like, nope, I'm done. You don't have that, that fight within you to keep going. And keep investing time and energy into this anymore. You don't. This is you throwing your hands up. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. They're trying here. They are trying. I'll give them that. How does this person feel? You are acknowledging the fact that they're trying. But I gotta be honest. You're so done with this person. It's not even funny. We have the sun, we have the empress, and then we also have the three of cups. Hmm. Tell me more about the sun. You know, it really does kill this person, man. It really does. Because I was like, I wonder if the ten of swords is going to come out. Because see, this is kind of like an overall energy of them trying to show you that they care about you, show you that they still want to work things out, you know things of that nature this is them trying to prove themselves to you to show you that they really do love you and they don't necessarily want to lose you but man this is like an overall energy of it doesn't matter what i say it doesn't matter what i do it doesn't matter how hard i try libra's done with me and it's almost in a sense where they don't want to accept that reality that you're actually done with them so they keep trying and they keep trying and they keep trying and they keep trying but I don't know, dude. I just, I feel like you're over it. I feel like you're done, man. You just, ugh, you don't have that fight within you to continue to fight for this anymore. You just don't. You just don't. And, and see, this is, 
this is basically what this person wants to avoid is this relationship uh, coming to an end here between you and them they're really trying to remain strong here I could tell man this person is really trying to remain strong here like you know what if I just keep trying if I just keep showing Libra that I care about them, if I could, if I just keep showing them that I really want to make this relationship work, maybe, just maybe, you know, they'll change their mind. I don't see you doing that currently at the moment, but we'll see what happens. What actions? We have the Page of Swords. We got the Four of Swords. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Then we have the Lovers. The five of wands, to the devil, uh, to the temperance card, to the moon. Mm. What actions will Libra take towards this person or moving forward? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I gotta be honest, I kind of feel bad for this person to the right of me, man. I really do. It's like, I want to say this in the nicest way possible, but it's like I'm trying to find the right words because I don't want to come off like rude, even though your energy is like, you know what, Milagros, I really don't care, man. I'm pretty done with this situation. Um, this is like an overall energy of somebody who's basically trying to win your love back, and you're kind of looking at them like, which part do you not understand, the N or the O? Which, which which part do you not understand? Would you like for me to say in a different language? Like, I'm gonna be honest, that's your overall energy. That is your overall energy. What part do you not understand, the N or the O? I just, I feel like you're done, okay? I, th it's, I think it's safe to say you're done. You're done with this person. You're done. And it's like, you're just so confused. Like, why do you keep trying? Why do you keep trying? Didn't I tell you I don't want anything to do with you? Didn't I tell you to stop calling my phone? Didn't I tell you to stop texting me? I'm done. Leave me alone. Allow me to move forward and move on with my life, please. You know, like, I gotta be honest. For some of you, you might get a little nasty with this person, okay? Like, you know, you might go as far to say, which which part do you not understand? The N or the, the O? Which one? So I can break it down for you. You want me to say it in a different language? Because I could do that too. Like, Anyways. But yeah. I mean, they're trying, man. They're trying. They're trying. They're trying. They're trying. But <sighs> what the devil, man? To that five of wands out here. Like, this person's pissed off. Because it's like, yo, like... I'm, I'm trying to fight for us right now. I'm trying to fight for our marriage right now. I'm trying to fight for our family right now. And you just don't see that. You just don't see that. You don't see that, Libra. You don't see that. Why can't you just see that? Why can't you just accept that? Why can't we just work things out, Libra? I don't get it. And your response is, well, what part do you not understand? I don't want to be with you anymore. Like, this sucks, bro. <laughs> like, this sucks. This sucks. I don't even know what else to say, you guys. I, mean, I don't know. Tell me more about the five of wands and the devil. Oof. If you guys have children with one another, specifically those who share a child with this person, they might even throw that in your face. Like, but what about the kids? Like, they're going to be affected by this if we don't try to work on our relationship and our marriage. You know what I mean? Specifically for those of you who share a child and or children, they might throw that in your face. Like, what about the kids? What about the kids? 
they're going to be affected by this. Do you really want them to go through this? They, they And it, it might be a way of them kind of guilt tripping you, but I don't necessarily, I wouldn't go as far as to say that they're guilt tripping you. It might come off that way, but I don't feel like they're trying to intentionally guilt trip you by throwing the kids in the equation. I think that they're also kind of concerned about how all of this is going to affect the children that you guys share with one another. It just looks like you're done, man. It's like, I, I honestly, like, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like there's not really much this person can say and or do that's going to really change your mind. Got to be honest. I, I don't. I really don't. Like, granted, I see them trying. I see them trying to fight for this relationship. I see them doing that. I'm not going to take that away from them. And they feel like whatever it is that you guys are currently facing within your relationship, this is something that you guys can totally move past. That's how they're looking at the situation. You... You don't necessarily think so, but it just kind of looks like you're you're done. So, any advice? Okay. So, before I say this, free will, do what you want with your life. If you feel like removing yourself from this entire relationship, marriage is what's best for you, do what you feel as though it's best. But it is encouraging you to come together with this person and work things out with this person. I can tell that that is just something that you do not want to do, but it's encouraging you to do so. Um, it is. It's encouraging you to do so. But a lot of you don't want to because you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something that this person did. Which makes coming together and working things out that much more harder for you. To the point where a lot of you feel like, I just can't move past what this person just put me through. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. You're holding on to something. And that something makes it very challenging and very difficult for you to just be like, all right, let's work things out. Let's just move past it, you know? Let's just work things out, you know? It's one of those situations where it is easier said than done. It does actually feel that way, even though it's encouraging to get, not to get back together with this person, but at least seek counseling, possibly, um, you know, things of that nature. But this does kind of feel like a situation where it's like, yeah, easier said than done. Because you're holding on to something, man. Something. You're holding on to something that this person did to you. And I feel like it's so bad that you just can't seem to move past it. You just can't seem to move past it. Yeah. It does feel like it's one of those situations where it's like, mm, it's easier said than done, man. Um... Nonetheless, find it in your heart to forgive this person for whatever it is that they put you through. For those of you who do choose to move forward and move on with your life and never look back, find it in your heart to forgive this person. They're just going to have to accept the fact that you don't want anything to do with them. I see them having a very difficult time with that, but they're just going to have to accept that reality even though they don't want to, which did already come up for this person that they don't want that. Um, but they're going to have to kind of find it you know, within their heart to accept the fact that they possibly ruin things here between you and them and um, and just accept the reality that it's over between you and them. So then there's that. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated also too. For those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below Libra. But good luck to you moving forward and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.